So guys, hope this video will be very interesting and very informative for you. So please proceed to the video. In this project, we have designed a vending machine, which receives money from the user and outputs the product out. The design is implemented on Nexus 4 FPGA board in Verilog and by the use of Vivado. So an Axis 4 board with its main pinout is shown here. We will use uh, some of from the some of the uh, switches from here, and we will uh, use the seven segment displays for the display, and we will use uh, LED for the product out. So we will see how these uh, things are uh, displayed on the board in the next few slides. So this is the overview of the vending machine design. The money is input by the user from the right most four switches. And so the product selection is made by the adjacent four switches. Once the product it is selected and the user amount is greater than the cost of the product, the product is sent out and remaining amount is calculated. So product out, we will use an LED for the product, our product out and we will use four seven segment displays for the remaining amount display. So uh, here is the uh, board in which we are using uh, the uh, these four switches as an amount and these two switches, these four switches for the product selection. We have four products. Uh, therefore we will use four switches for the selection of four products. And these four LEDs, uh, seven segment displays will display the remaining amount or user amount on the panel and in case the user amount is greater than the uh, product cost then it will display the output at this LED. So this is the uh, pin assignment for the uh, vending machine circuit. The first column represents the input um, by the user and the product out and the next column the next two columns uh, are the pin out for the cathode and anode for the seven segment displays and the last uh, uh, column represents the uh, column uh, carry out and the clock so these are the pins on the FPGA Nexus 4 board which are to be assigned to the each signal of the uh, Verilog module. So this is uh, the main interface of the design in which we are having uh, the main uh, components as follows. Uh, first of all we will see the inter inter IO interface uh, that we have shown you on the previous slide. Uh, then we have cloud divider and uh, then we have in user in input manipulation and uh, we, have, we then have uh, product cost and then we have product out phase and the calculation of remaining amount as the next one and the last one is the displaying of the remaining amount. So the IO interface consists of uh, the signals that are given to the user, uh, given by the user and uh, the outputs that are displayed to the user. So in the clock divider we have to divide uh, the clock uh, into smaller uh, parts or we can say we, we, we have to uh, slow down the clock so therefore we have some delays in in the um, uh, program and we are having a clock a which is slower than the given clock so then we have a user manipulation uh, input manipulation circuitry in which we are counting the amount inputted by the user so we have four buttons first button is for the five penny next button is for the 10 penny next button is for the 25 penny and the last button is for 50 penny so once we um, turn on the these buttons the user amount is calculated um, in real time so um, we will show you on the board how it is calculated uh, in real time so uh, next one is the product cost we have four products first product is for the 50 penny next product is for the 75 penny next product is for the 100 penny 
and our one dollar and the next product is for the 1.25 dollars so these are the four products and we have this mechanism for the selection of product uh, the product is out if the product cost is uh, less than uh, user amount and once the product is out we have to display the remaining amount so in the next step we are uh, to calculate the remaining amount which is the uh, user amount minus product cost uh, if the user amount is greater than product cost else we will just uh, display the user amount because the product is not out so these uh, both uh, we can have options for the dis display of the user amount uh, in other words we are displaying the two things on the uh, same panel so therefore we have this mechanism for the calculation of remaining amount and then we have to display these uh, remaining amount in the form of four digits so we are having the remainders of uh, that uh, remaining amount number uh, to display on the board so this was the main mechanism for our uh, vending machine design uh, that we have we are we have used in the yellow so in the next uh, few seconds we, we will see uh, the demonstration of uh, vending machine on the real dam fpga board So this is a demonstration of a vending machine project on the FPGA. So these four switches represent the input. This is for 5 penny, this is for 10 penny, this is for 25 penny, and this is for 50 penny. If you if we turn on it for once, it will add 5 penny on the user amount. And if I turn it on this one add, it will add 10 penny in the user amount. Similarly, if I add a uh, fourth switch, which is a 50 penny, it will add 50 penny in the user amount so if i turn uh, on 10 then it is it is 115 you can say that it is adding the amount entered by the user so if i have a sufficient amount then i can select the product and we have four products in this area uh, these next four switches represent the uh, next four amounts so if i press the second switch it will say that uh, this is this side is uh, for the product out. It will say that the product should be out, and the remaining amount of the user is uh, displayed on the uh, panel, which is 40. So this is the main demonstration of the vending machine in which uh, you can uh, see the remaining amount on the panel and product out is in the form of LED. So thanks. Hello guys. Hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you like our content, then please subscribe our channel. And in case of any help, you can contact us anytime. Thank you so much.